Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. I thought I'd make a video on how to set up the storage pool. The first thing you need to do in Windows 8, this is for Windows 8. Now, is basically you need to go to the control panel. Um, as you know, I have installed two disks ahead of time besides my system disk. Then you look for storage space over here. Then what you need to do is click on create a pool. In this case, it will ask me, I'm going to confirm, and luckily I have two Hitachi drives. Actually, it's from my old machine. So you, you go to the bottom of the screen and click Create Pool. This is Creating Pool. Um, there's a different type of pool you could create. There's a two-way, which is uh, writes two copies of your data to help you protect a single drive failure. Or you could do three-way, but it requires you to have at least five drives. A parity space writes to your data with a parity information helps you protect your single drive failure. That requires at least three drives. So when you have three drives, you could do parity. In this demonstration, I'm just gonna call it store space and two-way. And my space uh, does go down because there's some overhead uh, making this parity, you don't get the full 1.81 terabytes. You, you know that's already with overhead already. You got two terabyte drives. I mean total, one terabyte, another terabyte drive is two terabytes, and you got some overhead. And the maximum size usable now is 930 gigabytes. Well, that's not bad, you know. Um, storage, the a storage space can be larger than the amount available in the storage pool. When you run low on space, you can just add more drives. That's assuming you have more drives. Anyway, now to get this to work, um, if you like the specification as you see over here, I could name it by the way, storage space. You could change the name or you want to name a different name or a different drive letter. Just click here. I'm going to choose two way to basically protect uh, just in case one drive fails. And I have uh, created uh, a a size of 930 gigabyte. Okay, so let's uh, click on create store space. Formatting. Now your new, new storage space is all created. So basically, what it shows up is a store space drive D. Okay, that's all you need to do. And there you go. So that's how simple it is to create a store space. Um, Two disc two way mirror. So if you close this over here, you can see it's all okay. You got two discs using two gigabytes pool capacity. So and you have a total of two drives. That's all it is in creating a storage space. And you can use it like another drive, and this data is protected against drive failure. You know, so Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully the video was helpful. I thought I'd do a video on this one to clarify and help others out there. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. See you next time. Bye.